a pro-life Republican impregnated a sex worker and then begged her to have an abortion. I'm speaking of none other than Louisiana State Senator David Vitter, who is staunchly pro-life. He impregnated a former sex worker and pressed her to get an abortion when he found out that she was pregnant. This uh, shocking claim was made in an interview conducted by Jason Bradbury with Wendy Ellis, who is indeed a former sex worker. She told the world about David Vit Vitter, known to some as Diaper Dave. He had this interest of wearing baby diapers that was re revealed in 2007. And now we know about this insanely hypocritical action after he recently introduced the Women's Health and Public Safety Act, which would allow states to exclude abortion providers from receiving any Medicaid funding. Didn't stop him, Lewis, from begging the woman he impregnated out of God given, traditional, biblical, natural marriage to have an abortion. Here's the interview with Wendy Ellis, where she explains what happened. After what happens at the end, towards the end of the relationship? What, what caused the relationship to end? Um, I found out I was pregnant, and um, he had asked me very plainly, you know, am I the father? And I kind of flipped out on him because he's the only person I had been sleeping with. Um, and when I was asked to have an abortion, it kind of threw me. Who asked you to have the abortion? Yeah. He did. did. So you came, so you weren't having sex with anyone else at the time? No. Not a boyfriend or anyone no. else? And at what, so at what point did you guys stop having unprotected sex? Oh, goodness, when I moved into the house across the street. And did he request that or did you? What, of the unprotected sex? Yeah. It just happened. So it wasn't a it wasn't a conscious decision. It was just right. Like it just kind of happened. Passionate moment. Right. So you approached him and told him you're you're pregnant. At how how far into the uh, pregnancy? I was 16 weeks pregnant when I found out. Okay. Which is I was four months pregnant, and him and I quit seeing each other when I was six months pregnant. And that was his decision to quit seeing you. Correct. Um. What happened uh, at that point? Um, I just, you know, I knew that if I had the baby, that the life for the child and myself would be completely unmanageable. We would never live a normal life. And so at eight months, I decided to give the baby up for adoption and never speak of it again. It was found that David Vitter was also on the client list of an infamous DC madam. He's pro life when it comes to other people. He's pro life when it comes to the government not being involved in any abortions. He's pro life when it helps him raise money or is otherwise convenient. But when the sex worker he's having sex with, gets pregnant, all of a sudden he's a very pro choice guy, Lewis, although not really. He's in favor of apparently the man deciding whether the woman has an abortion. Yeah. And I think in his case, it would have been just as easy to say, OK, you can just give the kid up for adoption. Let's not speak of this at all. But uh, he was really adamant, Dave, about uh, eliminating all of the evidence. Well, it turned out, as we heard from Ms. Davis, that she also didn't want the attention she anticipated she would get from this. So there was actually no real reason for David Vitter to start begging her to have the abortion, uh, a medical procedure that he claims to so adamantly oppose. But you're right. He was probably in the mindset of we've got to make this go away, put my religious convictions aside, put my public political statements aside, put it all aside, because now I'm in the position where I need someone to have an abortion more. My morals aside, my ethics aside, let's get that abortion done immediately. Because this was it. This was the big one. Uh, this would expose him. And uh, well, I'm really glad that she came out ultimately and uh, and decided to tell the story.